yes in this we are going to uh, see about the uh, linked list uh, manipulations here already in the previous videos what we have seen is unordered list that is the data is not in an ordered fashion that's what we have seen in the previous uh, videos now in this what we are going to in this series what we are going to see is how you can organize the linked list in an ordered either in ascending order or descending order so while entering the data itself you have to maintain that order so that is what we are going to see in this so let us have a very short introduction a linked list will consist of two fields this is called an object and it consists of two fields one is the data field where you enter the data and the next is the next field which points to the next node uh, of the same type next object here this we call it as a node so here what we do is uh, say let us see this example this is one node and this is another node and so on this node uh, after this node this will be the node which will be followed so how you can represent that so the memory where it is stored that is stored in the next field next field so using this you can go to the next data next node in the memory same way this has the memory location of the next node so which is present at uh, location 103 so using this you can move to the next node and so on the end of the node is indicated by the null pointer so this is the logic of a linked list since they are all connected by this memory location they are called as linked list so a linked list is a linear data structure where each element is a separate object the element is said to be a node where the node consists of an information field and the next field the next field will have the memory location of the next node which is of the same type so each node consists of two fields the data and next address of the next node the last node has the address null the entry the starting node will be called as head of the list so the start entry first node is called as a head and the pointer this is a pointer head is a pointer which points to the first node and that may be also a memory location say for example if it is 200 200 you give the pointer, it, it, it will have the value 101. So now it is pointing to the another memory location. It's like that. So since each node holds its own data and the address of the next node, hence forming a chain-like structure and thus the name K. So now we will see the ADT in this linked list. Insertion. Insert an element at any position of the list. Then deletion. Remove the first occurrence. But here, insertion at any position is uh, here insertion insert an element at the correct position the correct position of the list then deletion removal remove the uh, remove the element and then update update an element present in the any element suppose uh, I want to update a particular element then you can give the element and then give the new value it will be updated likewise is empty is used to check whether the list is having any if it is empty then it returns true traverse you want to travel the whole of the list and print the value present in the data field then searching searching for a particular value whether it is present or not then destroy destroy the whole list and release the space occupied by the list now this data this is a node structure of the linked list one node one object consists of this so this can be uh, defined in the c++ like this so you use the struct data type and then you call uh, you give the name node uh, which will be similar which will be easy for us uh, so we give the name node the same how we define in the theory then it consists of two fields data and the next field and the next field is pointing to another node of the same type so we have given node pointer next so this is a pointer and the next one is also it is of type node type so we have defined like this now the node is declared along with its operations by declaring a class called linked list so we are defining a class so in linked list uh, 
uh, what we have given is private. We have declared a head pointer. Already I told you a link list will be pointed by uh, first node will be pointed by the head node. So we define a temporary pointer uh, and that will be called as head and it is of type node. Then we declare link uh, the same class constructor where we initially there will be no node. So initially we made that to point to null. Head is made to point to null. Then we have declared the member functions is empty insertion. So insertion we pass the data to be inserted. Deletion we pass the data so that it finds and search and find the data and then it will remove that particular node. Then traverse it will traverse the whole list and you can print the value in the data field. Then searching and update and then finally destroy. So traversing the list, how you will traverse? Initially, the head is pointing to that. Then you assign another temporary pointer, which is pointing to the starting node. Then you move this temporary pointer to the next, next, next. And then you print. When it moves to the next, you print the value in the data field. So how it can be done? So that we will see in the programming programmatically. So in link is you declared uh, already have defined the function there so that we are implementing here using the code. Node we have declared a temporary pointer and which is of type node type. Already node we know it is a structure. Already we have seen how it is defined there. Now temp is made to point to the head. Okay, so now it is pointing here. Now, while temp is not equal to null, when temp become equal to null, when it reaches the end of, because the last node will have the next field as node. So till it reaches the null, what you do is you print the value temp data. So first it will be temp is pointy here. So you print h. Then what you have to do, you have to move temp to the next. How you will be moving that temp in temp next, you have the memory location of the next node. So that we are doing here temp equal to temp next so in this now so which means the temp is moved here that's what and so on so it till it becomes equal to when it becomes equal to null when temp next once when it reaches here and it reaches here after it prints p now temp equal to temp next means here it becomes null so that value will be allocated to temp in that case this while loop will be ending